Tell me about your new boat, Spencer. It's it's extra. It's about all I can think about. It's just <laughs> from what I went through the last from this last seven years, 1988, 1988 Bass Tracker for the last six months with no engine. Right. It's, it's been interesting. And then all of a sudden now you got all this crazy stuff to work with. Four 12 inch helixes, you've got live, you've got 360, you've got two power poles. And I don't know how to use half of it. And we don't know how to use any of it. <laughs> but this is the second second trip out. He's used it one other time, cut a bunch of fish. Got some fish slime on it. Yeah. Now we're gonna try to do the same. So wish us luck. <laughs> well you can see bait. Maybe even fish maybe. It's not used to what this is exactly saying. Something weeds maybe on the bottom. Maybe look for some bait. Maybe try to catch something actually. Yeah. Spot locking. That was the first thing that I really used for like. And you yeah. can believe how much I used it. I mean, oh, I'm sure. And it was a pretty stiff wind. I mean, the only thing that you know points you into the wind when you do it, but doesn't do it too much. And we got the fancy lights. Oh yeah. We've got lights inside the apartment. I'm not sure what they go with the interior light, I guess, is what does the inside one. Got a dimmer switch. If you want to jump on the turn motor while I'm doing this, you can. Why not? They must have it set for like an auto range on the live. I kind of like to zoom in with the 360 more. I don't. I just don't know what any of the but. I don't even know what some of the buttons on it are for yet. Yeah. Mob. <laughs> I felt a little something moving. Shad bumping it. There's no bait coming. Yep. No, no trailer though. <laughs> 360 showing it's all pop mark. Is that the bait mark there? No, like the looks like the ground. Yeah, it's that, got little little depressions. That's everywhere. what it's supposed to be really good at. Huh. Mm -hmm. Man, this is it's crazy to even be able to come back and I I can even go in the back of the other boat. Yeah. Like if I did this on the other boat, I'd be in trouble. I can yeah. see like smallmouth fishing, like St. Clair finding beds oh, and. Yeah. That kind of thing, wood, any kind of wood, rock. I don't think once the summer gets going, the 360 is going to be that big of a thing. No, it's be weeds Yeah. I mean, I guess I do fish a little deeper than most sometimes in the summer, but. Oh, no, it was a bite. Was it? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Here, switch with you. Let's say I throw it a couple times. I think if I want to put more rods in here, I just need to use the rod sleeves, maybe even. Hey, Kevin, uh, cast this deep side of the lake. I'm going to fish over here. We got no net. Hey, look at that. First fish in Spencer's 
boat here. Let me get on the curb in there. There we go. One little skin tag and I, that's why I first mouth. saw it and I'm like, it, it didn't have a great no. deep. Five-pounder, four-pounder, Spencer's got one. It's a successful trip right here. Successful trip. Especially when we're half messing around. Yeah, just playing with the boat won't sink you yeah. up. I, I didn't see those fish on them. Fish yeah. finder sucks. Spencer's new boat just got done. T188P. Mercury Pro XS 115. Two eight foot power poles. Three lithium. And an AGM starter. Power bolt charge. C clear wiring. Four Helix 12s. Two at the console. Two up front. Minn Kota Ultrex with the iPilot link. 80 pound of thrust. Hummingbird 360. Hummingbird live. This is why I waited so long to get it. So I can get everything I wanted. 
How long did you wait, Spencer? You ordered it in November. Well, that was different. Waiting to actually order it was a two or three years, and then six months from when I ordered it, seven months. Before it was actually produced and delivered. So, just picked it up. Wednesday. Wednesday. Took it out on his inaugural trip and caught a couple four pounders. Today we caught five pounder, four pounder. Shiny new boat. Yeah, they don't really make this boat for all the stuff we put on it, but no, he loaded it down. They figure it out. Uh, we're from DNR Sports, Kalamazoo, Michigan. They rigged it all up. Good, all the weight was not their fault. That's just factory stuff. Yep. Supply chain right now. Yeah, we're still waiting on a couple things, aren't you? Yeah, no. butt seat and a couple other little things. Nothing major. What was one of the holdups they said was this? That was the biggest holdup. Biggest holdup was getting that. Tightened some gauges here. You don't know yeah it's hard to it's i gotta check to my gas, gas every once in a while that's that's gas this is trim yeah but you're never gonna be able to see again you're gonna go with a hot foot but you decided not to not to mainly because of the room. size and yeah. the room and we don't really run too much here no. cooler here or extra live well i guess if you want yeah this one hides some of the 360 or the live stuff in there rod lockers here another rod locker slash storage on the other side led blue led lights blue water led blue water in there also inside these compartments Gucci. well thanks for coming on the yep. first trip here to make sure i'm pulling in and out of this lake so may 7 2022 and uh that's a wrap for today hope you enjoyed spencer's Tour Spencer's new boat. We even caught a couple of fish out of it. All right. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe and have a good day.